Ramo from Brooklyn. You're up next. You want to talk about free agency? How you doing, bro? Yo, what's good, man? Chillin', chillin'. How you, chillin', how you feeling? Yo, I'm good, man. This is the perfect time for the Knicks, man. Like, look, what happened with KD is terrible. The owner and that team, they set him up. You know what I mean? Like, they use him like cattle. It's messed up. They probably lied. Uh, you know, whatever. It's a messed up situation. But, mm-hmm. again, this is perfect for the Knicks because every time we try to cheat our way into prominence by getting a bunch of free agents to save us, it never works out. That's so, what I said today, This is a perfect time for the Knicks to build. Yeah. I, I, that's yeah, what man, I said like, today, man. Like, I, I was like, look, look at it like a blessing in disguise, honestly. Look at what was happening with Donnie Walsh. We were ha- we had a small little thing budding up until we sold everything for Carmelo. And look what happened with that. The only free agent that I will go after is Kawhi Leonard because he's that transcendent. And he's that great of a player on both ends of the floor. Like, you see how Toronto's playing at a whole different level just because of just even the confidence and the stability you have in Kawhi Leonard. Mm-hmm. But with me, man, if we can't get Kawhi Leonard, man, you build it from the ground up. You're going to get R.J. Barrett or the guy I want, uh, John ja Morant. You build your philosophy. You build your culture. You build your defensive identity. You get the Marcus Morris and you get the Patrick Beverly's, those type of role players. Defense, defense, defense. To to exactly. You speak to you. Look what happened with the Clippers. The Clippers try to tank. They tank into the playoffs. Like, I, I would love for the Knicks to tank into the playoffs. You know what I mean? Like because yeah. your system, your front office, everything from top to bottom is so strong. So this is a perfect time for the Knicks. Everybody wants to cry. Look, KD is a, is a transcendent player. His talent alone is top five to me that I've seen just naturally. But look, it's not going to happen. You don't, you don't, you don't give a contract to a guy who first had that Jones foot injury yep. and then he has this. That was a major uh, foot Achilles, surgery, man. Is, is, and he's seven oh, feet tall. That was made, a major, major injury. So I. Yeah, man. So you look at look at a guy like you know who I go through. You see this kid, R.J. Barrett. This kid seems hungry. Yes, he has the fire that we all wish Kevin Knox would have. This yes. guy wants to be in New York. You feed that guy. You pump that guy up. You you build your system around that guy. You have him as your defensive stalwart too. I know that you know he has the talent to be that. Did he show that Duke? Maybe not all the time. Yeah. But you 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 build up your youth, man. It's a youth movement move with these Knicks, man. We're not going to come and get a savior to come and play these guys. And the last thing I'll say, an mm-hmm. underrated move that I would make, if Kyrie goes to Brooklyn, I would consider giving a contract to D'Angelo Russell. And I'll say this. Mm-hmm. I know people are going to kill me. But D'Angelo Russell, the way he had those young kids galvanizing to, uh, around him this year, you, I didn't see – and I, Kyrie Irving is a better talent. But Kyrie Irving played with a bunch of talented players, more talented players in Brooklyn, and no one wanted to play with Kyrie Irving. The way that those kids on the Nets, and a bunch of guys got injured on the Nets, the way they play around D'Angelo Russell, you know, I'm not saying you do it, but it's something to consider. Because you go after Damian Lillard next year, and blasey, 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 but make this a youth movement. Fizzell, you have play to work with. No one's going to criticize you if you don't get a big-time free agent because you see KD's not here, Kyrie is in, in the cloud. The perfect time for you to put your head down and build your team. Give, it, give us a two-, three-year plan. And we'll wait for you in the place in two, three years, man. Like, you have time to build. You drafted well with Mitchell Robinson. Mm-hmm. Build your team from the ground up. No need to rush this process, I'm, man. I'm with Guillermo, man. Appreciate the call, man. Yeah. What's your thoughts, Jay Ellis? Um, yeah, I mean, I like the idea. I mean, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence on D-Lo. I'm not going to lie. I'm on the fence on D-Lo. Uh, I understand why some I don't trust are. D-Lo, man. So yeah. I don't trust D-Lo, man. I'm on the fence. I don't trust him. Like, I want to see if we're going to keep going with the kids and stuff. I want I I want to see DSJ develop a jump shot. If we're going to, if you're just going to stay pat, you know what yeah. I mean? Instead of like I said, trying to invest in a, another young guy who's go, who's going to need uh, time to develop. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't blame him for wanting him. But I don't know if I'm all in on having a deal. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I kind of I kind of rather just try to develop DSJ. Honestly, I'm not yeah. sure. I'm not. I'm still not sure with D'Lo. He had a great year. You know, I'm not saying he's a bad player. He had a great year, very good yeah. year, very good year. Bounce back year. Happy for him. I'm um, just not too sure on his other points. You know, I said that this morning on my IG, man. I just said, you know, it just seems like with all these dominoes, with the Kyrie rumors to Brooklyn, with the with the complexities of the AD trade, and now with this KD stuff. It just makes me feel like we just need to be sticking to our plan. Don't don't agitate anything. Just keep building, and and stay with it, man. And I'm all I'm all for it. I'm all now. For it. 
how about plan C, right? We mm. have Leonard, we have Kawhi. Plan C, sign Kemba, right? Sign Kemba, uh, keep our flexibility with the other max free agents, and then try to get AD next season. Mm, well, that all depends on if AD goes somewhere as a rental. So you have to hope right. that you have to hope that he doesn't go to the Lakers or he doesn't go to the Nets or, you think or the Nets Wolves. Keep him? I don't know. I'm not. Sure. I'm just throwing a, a team out there um, who you know may potentially could keep him. Right. But you would have you would have to hope he goes somewhere in a rental. That's the thing. You would have to you would have to hope he goes somewhere in a rental because if he yeah. goes to L.A., forget about it. It's over. If he goes to L.A., forget about it. It's over. Uh, if he goes anywhere else, we have a shot. Yeah. 